Hey everyone, Jonathan Silva here again. For this video, what I'd like to do is showcase how we can embed an image inside of an email sent with Power Automate. So let's jump right in. All right, so for the first step of this flow is to go ahead and start it off with your trigger. In this case, I'm just gonna use a manual trigger with this instant cloud flow just to show this part. But of course, this can be part of a larger process, maybe an automated or cl uh, cloud flow or scheduled, whatever you like to have. The first part that we need to have within the actual process of embedding the image is to go ahead and get the image itself. You need to have access to that image first. So for our step here, we can either go get that image in either OneDrive or SharePoint. Those are the easiest locations to go ahead and store them here. In this case, I'm gonna choose Get File Content as the step. And again, you can do this in both OneDrive for Business or in SharePoint. Even with SharePoint, you can do Get File Content using Path. The, it's gonna be the exact same uh, step in this case. It's just depending upon where you wanna pull that data from. For me, I have mine in OneDrive. Then I'm gonna go ahead and point to that file. I'm gonna go down the path and find it there. And for me, the file that I wanna to point to is just an image. It's just a, an image here of our new logo here at Pragmatic Works. And the next step after we get the file content, we want to go ahead and compose how we're going to convert this image into a string value. So we're gonna select new step, and we're gonna choose Compose. The Compose Date operation lets us do that. So here in our inputs, this is where we are going to use an expression to help set up this file itself. So I'm gonna to go to Expression, and then we can use the expression for Data URI. The Data URI expression, what it allows us to do, if I just select it here, Okay. Oh, it goes all the way over there. It returns the data, returns a data URI of a value. Essentially, it's going to allow us to convert this to the correct formatting that we need. We're going to choose that, and then in between our parentheses here, go ahead and pass in the dynamic content of the file content itself. That looks good. Go ahead and hit OK. All right. So now we're going to compose this. Essentially, taking that into a string value to store. The next action we have here is to create a variable in order to pass through that, stri that string that we've just established. So we're gonna go ahead and initialize variable. All right, here we go. And for this variable, I'm gonna call this our var um, logo blue, because it is our blue logo that we're gonna point to. Let's see, yeah, it is our blue one. All right, the type of this variable is going to be a string and the value that I'm gonna pass through is gonna be another expression. Now for this expression, we are gonna to have to use the concat operator. So go ahead and chart, start with concat. For this, what we need to do is essentially combine our string of our HTML formatting in order to pass in this image to pass into the, the email itself. So we're gonna start off with single quotes, and we always build inside of the single quotes here. Okay, and we're gonna do a little bit HTML. So we're gonna do image source equals, I'm, I'm just putting spaces in here for formatting. You don't necessarily need to do that. And then we need a double quote and then another single quote. All right, there it goes. Then you could put a comma. So we're gonna concatenate that piece with the outputs of our compose. Okay, that's the next step here. So we can go to our dynamic content and we can put the outputs on the compose nearly there, so we're starting with our image source and our HTML code, then getting the outputs of our compose. We have one more part here to finish off that HTML, so put another comma, so the next part of our string here. And this is where we're gonna start again with a single quote, double quote, okay, and then alt equals double quote, double quote, forward slash, and finish out our little anchor there. So got that all set. Everything should be there. So we can then hit OK. And again, here is what we have. So I'm gonna hover over there. So there it is. We're gonna concat with our image source, with our outputs from the compose, ending with alt, 
to go ahead and finish that out there. All right, so now that we've created this variable to store how we can embed the image, we can now add in our last step here to go ahead and send our email. So new step, send an email. I'm gonna choose send an email with Office 365 Outlook. In this case, I'll go ahead and send this to myself just for testing purposes. And the subject is how does our new logo look? And in the body, what do you think? Right, just some, some message in here. And now what we can do is just simply pass in the variable that we've established to, to store the concatenated, concatenated value. So there it is, and that's it, all done there. We could come in here and select the code view if you'd like to remove other parts here with the page and the breaks if you need, or you can just leave it as such and then go ahead and save and test it and you're all set. So let's go ahead and do that, save and test, and let's see what this email looks like. All right, the flow has run successfully, so let's take a look at what it gives us. And there it is. So we now have our image embedded into that email just like that. Now we can add in other parts here within our HTML to make it smaller, to make it larger within the window itself. You could do a little bit more formatting along this way, but that gets exactly what you want. Now we can have an image add it in wherever we need inside of our email here with Power Automate. Thanks for joining me once again here, taking a look at working with Microsoft's Power Automate in the cloud. If you like this video and want more content from me and all of us here at Pragmatic Works, please make sure to go ahead and drop a like and hit that subscribe button below to get access to all of our new content as we put out every single week.